And so, once again, we find ourselves within the long dark. On our second life in a beautiful, not so beautiful interloper run. Anyways, we have made it to the small cabin in Timberwolf Mountain. Now, I will also say things are a little bit different from the last time I played, and that's because I didn't realize the only way you can save the game is by sleeping or entering an actual interior location. So I ended the episode without the game saving, which led to me, you know, restarting everything. But I did make it back, and now I will show you a brief little recap of the things I did in the meantime. Well, hopefully now you are all pretty much caught up. Now, I will also say our situation is still a little bit bad, especially the lack of water and food, and more importantly, you know, temperature, but that should hopefully change soon. And by soon, I mean right now, as I start up a fireplace and describe the things I'm gonna be doing in order to, you know, cover my bases. So yeah, it starts off with this. A nice, toasty, and warm fire. For one, I need torches for the journey ahead. Two, I really want to warm up. And three, I would really like to sleep when the temperatures in here are a little bit warmer, right? Because if I go out and check my temperature right now, it's negative five degrees Celsius. So yeah, if I were to sleep all willy-nilly right now, there is a good chance the outside temperature just gets too damn cold, and I die extremely quickly. So yeah, I want to sleep with there being a fire, and with the fire we can warm up, run outside, grab cattails, run back in, all the while we have water cooking up. Very, very small portions, of course. Anyways, it's time for us to collect some cattails. Okay, that was a little bit terrifying. It's a good thing we have torches here. We have about two hours left of the fireplace, so I'm not super worried about that. I want to get this wolf the hell out of here, though. This is my territory. These are my cattails. This is my lodge. Where are you at? Yeah, get out of here. Scram. Shoo. Before I hit you with the rock. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're getting a whole bunch of cattails. The day is almost over, but hopefully we should be able to get around, I would say, eight hours of sleep. That's going to be the aim. And then, as soon as we get that sleep, we are leaving this area for good. So we really got to grab as many cattails as possible right now. This stuff is golden. Ba 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 ba. Man, these dog- oh, they brought in the whole pack. Okay, we're heading back home. I got all the cattails, though. Uh, just about all of them I don't see anymore in the distance. I want to see if I can, you know, run over back to my house without grabbing a new torch. Please stop following me, little guy. If you maul me right now, my life is over. Well, obviously, but, you know, a little bit more important. Yeah, we'll make it back home. No worries. And then we are gonna be sleeping probably in intervals of one hour because I don't think I'll have enough fuel to continue a fire for like eight hours straight without, you know, absolutely taxing myself. So as long as we can go to sleep without too much of a worry inside here, I think we'll be a 
Okay. Boom. We're in, though. Throw the torch down. We got our cooked rabbit. We got our potable water. Let's keep on cooking that stuff up. And I think, for the rest of this hour of this fireplace being here, we are going to rip apart the rabbit and get the hide and guts curing. Oh, also, we are going to be making some teas. Teas are very nice to have, and we have so many rose hips. Oh, and there it is. That is exactly why I was terrified of sleeping. It feels like a negative 12, and even with the bed warmth bonus, it's still negative 7. Oh man, that sucks. I do have a bunch of cedar wood, and honestly, we are just gonna start up a fire to sleep as long as possible, even if it's a waste of, you know, our time. I will see all of you in a little bit. Actually, you know what? This is good enough, everyone. I'm looking at the outdoor temperature, and it is only minus one bar. This is going to be the best we get. So we are leaving today, everyone. Let's pack up, let's pick up this fireplace, and let's skedaddle. First of all, let's go cook up a nice little bit of tea, though, okay? I want this to be a nice, nice day. We are going to have ourselves a nice old birch bark tea. Drink it up. We are leaving right now. Boom, we're about half asleep, so I won't be able to sprint all around willy-nilly. That should be fine by me, though. Let's take some torches, I think? Actually, you know what's a better idea? I'm gonna... No, 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 no. I was gonna say I was gonna sleep for another hour, but I think right now this is as good as it's gonna get. We have caught lightning in a bottle. Let's grab as many torches as possible, then. We are ready to leave. Wish me luck, everyone. It's gonna be a long road ahead, and I think in order to reach Pleasant Valley, we're gonna have to go this direction here. Yeah, I'm feeling good, though. I'm feeling good. We got beneficial teas going up in our body. We are freezing to death now, though, so I have a feeling we could have stayed a little bit longer. Ah, it'll be all right. Let's just move. We gotta keep on moving to greener pastures. Also, any cattails along the way, I will steal. Yo! Holy heck, that's huge! That's a new hoodie right there. Boom. Wow, what are the chances? <laughs> RNG's really looking on up for us, huh? Also, I find it extremely cool that the driving gloves I picked up last episode actually pop up um, on my character screen. That's very immersive and extremely cool. Boom, we have even more cattails. Anyways, we now have cattails for days. Let's hope no blizzard rolls in. If it does, I think I could navigate back to the fishing cabin in a pinch. And now we are no longer warming up. I might create a small fire just to warm up some tea, and then we'll keep on moving. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. I'm gonna pick up some more of these sticks, though, and I will wait till that until we get to the next, you know, zone. Okay, that sucks, Eggs. I accidentally left Timberwolf Mountain without starting up a damn torch, dude. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> well, that means we're down three matches. Okay, we need to hurry it on up. What can start off as a decent start can turn very south very quickly. I'm gonna see where stuff is as soon as I leave this area, and I'm pretty sure around that way there is a small cabin that I can reach that I can rest at. And I'm pretty sure there's even a small little bunker cache nearby. I could be wrong about that, though. We will have to see. For now, getting to shelter is going to be my number one priority. Okay, everyone, good news. We have ourselves a small little cabin here. It does have a small little stove for me to sleep at. I think it's the best chance we have right now. I am so tired. There is food here. There is a backpack. It's not overall the worst. And in the back over here, we have ourselves... Hold on, hold on. Let's let's loot this stuff first. Actually, no, I want to check out that small little opening. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Come on, big money, big money, big money. We have ourselves a bunker, everyone. A prepper's abandoned cache with a bed. Oh, we're so back. 
We are so back, everyone. All right, we're gonna be sleeping in here for the day. I will go loot the exterior areas first. I don't know if there's a campfire in here. It doesn't look like there is. Yeah, no, this is gonna be our home for a little bit, though. Let's go ahead, back up. So I can grab the firewood, loot the backpacks, and check out the cabin in here with firewood and a nothing. Okay, cool. That it? It looks to be awesome. I'm gonna be rotting the rest of our day in indoors, it looks like. <laughs> oh, man, I've never felt so thankful about shelter in my entire life. Yeah, no, we can sleep in here for like almost nine, ten hours with how tired we are. Let's go loot around the area while it is still light out and see if there's anything to help out our survival. We got nothing in the lockers. We have a toque inside of the filing cabinet. We got a single book. And that's actually it. There might be something else within the darkness. I just can't see it. Overall, you know, not the best, but we do have some cloth down over here, which I can use to uh, fix up some of my clothing. So I will be taking that so I can repair the stuff. Yeah, give me the cloth and I will be sleeping. Okay, everyone, we slept for around 16 hours, and this bunker is awesome. Not only does it keep me warm, but it's basically a full base without having to start a fire, right? I was able to sleep, get back almost all of my condition lost on the journey, and I feel better than ever. Of course, it helps that I have almost 50 cattail stalks to get me through the night, and on top of it, you know, we have things to do like preparing all of my mushroom stews. So if I were to check that, we got ourselves four more teas, five more mushroom teas, and three already pre-made. Now we're ready to go, and it looks like it actually warmed up even more as well, so we only are losing two condition bars instead of three. This is perfect. Oh man, I have a good feeling about this. Any wolves come up on me, I'm gonna start a torch and scare the heck out of them. I think my path that I want to take right now is to head through, whatchamacallit, is to head through Pleasant Valley, stop by the farmstead after checking out a couple more locations, and as soon as that's done, I want to go to Coastal Highway and then Desolation Point to where I can craft up actual tools and supplies, right? We got extremely lucky with getting the... Bop, 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 the heavy hammer this early. I even know that much. So yeah, we're doing good. I do see a hunting blind over there. I don't think it's worth the time. We just gotta continue on ahead. Anyways, with this map, there should be a set of burned down buildings over in this direction that I will be able to check out because one of them boasts a small little basement. And I'm- oh, come on. You really gotta make me waste a match this early on in, Wolf. I'm gonna see if I can outrun him, and if the worst, you know, case happens, then I light a torch, scare him off. I do see the burned out buildings right over there. Ooh, stick. Anyways, I see the burned out buildings right over there. We should make it just fine without this bozo, you know, making me waste a torch. Also, I don't know if I can loot that plane. I'm guessing we would be able to. So yeah, maybe I'll do that in the future as well. Oh, please leave me alone, Wolf. I am just a boy. He's not. Well, screw him. I'm looting this metal container anyways. What do we got? Nothing. Of course. Of course. I'll check out the plane later. For now, we need to find the basement, which should hopefully be right there in front of me. Or that one. Either or, I think we'll make it. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. I really need to find this basement. Is it here? Uh, no. But no, it is, it is, it is, it is. We're good. See you later, idiot. <laughs> yeah, we've made it over to the basement in Pleasant Valley. This place doesn't have a, whatchamacallit though. It doesn't have a bed, so I will just stay here to warm up and loot in which we have ourselves accelerant, some tomato soup, a couple of pieces of firewood. We also have scrap metal. Yep, okay, nothing inside the containers. Swing and a miss, we can rest up in here, at least for a little bit. Oh, I wish I had a bedroll. I so wish I had one of those damn things, man. 
Alrighty, it's looking pretty good out. We have more reclaimed wood. I am going to become over encumbered very soon, so I might want to drop off some firewood soon because I do have uh, about 57 sticks in my inventory, which accounts for about a third of my, you know, hit points. Or not hit points, a third of my encumbrance. Yeah, I mean, it'll just have to be a place to where I can come back to it later. For now, I want to head over in this direction and slowly shimmy my way on down over towards the farm down, you know, where it's more flat. Gosh, there's a lot of crows here. Let's get a good little vantage point of the place before we head out. Hmm, a lot of mountains, but you can see very far in the distance the, uh, the image of hay bales, which means the farm is down over there. Do I want to check out the plane as well? Huh. You know what? Screw it. We have about the full day and the temperature is not bad at all. I'm going to drop off some of the sticks. Um, not at the basement, but I will if I need to make space for, like, actual supplies. I am so ready to hit it big. By the way, I kind of figure out why there are a bunch of crows now if there's a plane crash. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to access this thing without a hacksaw. I might need one. Who knows? Anyways, open sesame. Ah, here we are. We're in. Anything cool? Um, nothing down here inside, like, the little passenger's quarters. Maybe there's something in the back here. Nope, nothing. We got a whole bunch of suitcases, though, which means clothing. Nope, don't light a torch. Gosh diggity dang it, did that waste one? I think it did. Ah, oh, hamburgers. It's fine. Put it away. We need to loot normally. We got ourselves nothing in there. Thermal underwear in here. Wear that immediately. Oh my, this is actually a blessed, blessed location. Okay, yeah, let's start looting away. We got ourselves Summit Soda. We also got another hoodie. That's even more layers. Uh, ditch the dress shirt. We have even more crow feathers. We have a t-shirt, which I really can't use right now. We do have a sprain risk, so I'm going to drop off like half of the sticks off. Boom. That should give me more than enough space. Another ski jacket? Oh man, it's a good day to be me. I mean, this is actually terrible knowing how many people died in this tragic, tragic event. But man, is it a boon for little old me. I don't- oh man, there's even more suitcases here. Yeah, no, we're vibing. Holy heck. It really is grim when you think about it, but this is the best we are going to get. And that's another light shell. Can I wear that over anything here? No. It has better wind protection? So I will keep it for now. Probably gonna ditch it later, though. Ski jackets are the inn. Is there any other suitcases here before I leave? Because I am getting extremely cold. Nice! To top it all off, we got ourselves a wool scarf. Much, much better than our damn baseball cap. Drop that, and we are all set to leave. In good timing as well, because we just got cold. Hopefully when we hop back into the basement, we will just warm up a lot quicker. Yep, okay. I'm gonna do a little once-over, very briefly, but I think we got everything. Oh my, hello! Oh, oh, little guy, settle down, get the hell out of here, go, go, scram. Little, little goober, he was trying to get, you know, he's trying to get me there. Okay, we did start up a nice little torch, so we are going to have to make a quick little campfire. I think in order to save time, what I'm going to do is go into the corner here, we're going to start up a fire, and I'm just going to drink up some teas to warm up a little bit more properly. Yep, drop it there, boom, use the book as fuel. And, yeah, we'll get this started real fast. If we get another blizzard situation like the last time I died, all I need to do is move over to the side a little bit and enter the basement, so I'm not worried about dying at all. Boom, tea's ready. Boom, rose hips are ready. We can warm up here a tad as well, so you know what? Let's go cook up some water. Alrighty, we have ourselves some warm rose hip tea that I can sip up right now, and an extra jar just in case I need it. Okay, let's add in one extra stick, just like that, so I can take the last torch. Okay, cool. We are filled up on all of our bars. Oh man, it feels so nice that I'm actually playing the smart right now. Smart-ish. 
You know, a lot better than I did last time, that's for sure. Now it's time to head down the proper pathways. I will let you know if I find anything cool aside from the occasional stick. By the way, seeing the warming up bonus happen to me in real time makes me realize how important teas are in this game. Because holy hell, being able to warm up and heat up water like that is a lifesaver. Also, is that the cabin? Oh, I sure hope that isn't the cabin, because I'm supposed to stay there. Is that a wolf down there as well? Hold on. There might be another little goober down here. No, it is just a tree branch. Okay, cool. Anyways, I was really expecting, you know, more out of here than just whatever the hell's down over there. Well, there is a dead deer carcass. Let's see if it's still fresh. No, it's completely frozen. There are a whole bunch of cattails here. A boat. And is this really the cabin? Oh, man, that sucks. Okay. Well, looks like we won't stay here for the night. I'll go grab the cattails and move on through. Hell yeah, that is gonna be another, let's see here, 55 cattail stalks. And on top of it, we got some birch bark. We are no longer warming up, so we need to get moving. I know the farm is down over this way. I think the best way of getting up right now, looking at the, you know, massive rock wall here, is gonna be running down towards that bridge over yonder. Hopefully all we need to do now is follow this road on down to whatever structure it leads me, right? Because I do know that there is going to be a town in Pleasant Valley that I would love to loot before I, you know, leave and go off on my journey towards Desolation Point to finally craft up an axe and knife combo. Because at the end of the day, supplies are just nice to have. Speaking about supplies, I see five cattails that I cannot pass up right now. Eat up all that good stuff. Bada bingo. We do have a sprain risk, but I think we're pretty close by to a town to where that won't be too much of an issue. If we do get a sprain, we do have teas to help the pain. So yeah, not too big of a problem. Really, the bigger problem right now is the fact that we are freezing to death very rapidly. Yippers, there it is. We are now at risk for hypothermia. Hopefully we can, you know, reach a structure and we can sleep inside there for about like 12 hours, just rotting away. Oh yeah, would you look at that? It's not a cabin that I would like to sleep at, but it is off the side of the main road that I can check out while we're heading down. You never know what you can find in these places. Maybe a gun. I say knowing full well there are none. Uh, we got ourselves quality tools. Actually huge and a book. Damn. Yeah, always good to check out the small little things. For now, it's more road. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I see some trees over there, and those aren't normal trees. Those are orchard trees. So yeah, we are very close to the farm. It's quite literally over this hill. And by over here, I actually meant over there. There it is, everyone. There's the farmhouse I've been looking for. All right, we've made it over to the Pleasant Valley Farmstead. I think over in that direction is, uh, that direction, sorry, is gonna be the town, or it might be down there. Either way, we made it over, and there's a watchtower up there that I can loot. So, um, yeah, overall, I would say today went extremely well for little old me. We were able to stop by a bunker, leave Timberwolf Mountain, get so much clothing that I'm drowning in it now, and we finally have found ourselves a very nice farmstead, which should hopefully supply us with some matches and other needed supplies. That, and it's just a nice place to stay at. Bada boom. So yeah, I'm gonna end it here. If you guys have liked me surviving another day in Interloper, make sure you like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. I will see all of you next time. Peace the hell out, everyone.